Vicente Berenowska, and I represent National Center for Education Latvia, which is uh, one of the European Policy Network and School Leadership Partners. And we are in Heraklion in Crete, uh, where the final fair learning activity takes place. Um, the event gathered more than 100 participants from 22 countries. And among participants there are researchers, practitioners, school leaders, policy decision makers, university teachers and association representatives. And this is the second day of the fair learning activity. And we have asked three policy makers from different countries to share impressions during this event. And first of all, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself, tell which country you are from, uh, which institution you represent, and what is your position. Let's start <laughs> with you. Thank you. I'm Kaspar Kregime from Estonia. Right now I'm working in the city government of Tartu, in the education department, chief expert. And uh, formerly, almost 10 years, I, I was in, uh, in the Ministry of Education. And uh, it's very nice to be here with, with colleagues. Okay, thank you. It's my pleasure. My name is Evgenia Kostadinova. I come from Bulgaria. I work for Ministry of Education and Science. I'm director of uh, the directorate responsible for curricular development and educational content from pre-primary, then primary, secondary, and even vocational education. It's a real pleasure for me being here and it's very interesting. It's my first time in this pla and uh, I'm very impressed. Thank you. Yes, my name is Jens Mau. I come from Lower Saxony in Germany. I'm working at the Ministry of Education and I'm responsible for qualifying teachers and qualifying school leaders. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, my, my question for all of you is, what is the most important message or messages you would like to take home from this per learning activity? Okay, let's start with Germany this time. <laughs> okay. Well, the main message I take home is that equity is a, 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 a task for uh, school leaders. They have to qualify their teachers, they have to make teachers um, look at equity with their, their uh, pupils, under their pupils, among their pupils. Okay, once again? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, Bulgaria. Oh, uh, frankly speaking, I came here to listen to the other and to uh, search for solution uh, we need uh, uh, early. Uh, now we are in the process of reforming our secondary education and uh, uh, no new law on education is under discussion in our parliament and one of the key issues in, in this new law is uh, indeed uh, teachers, teacher qualification, career development and uh, of course uh, uh, school leadership. And uh, I'm very impressed that uh, here the main message uh, which uh, uh, I could bring to my home is that uh, we are on the right, the right track and um, all our concerns, uh, our, uh, our shared concerns for everybody and uh, uh, our challenges are shared challenges and uh, that uh, it uh, works uh, networking uh, uh, on the field of um, uh, school leadership for uh, it could bring policy response uh, in whole Europe. Okay, Kasper, it is not your first event. <laughs> you have been to the first uh, uh, meeting in Heraklion when the project started and what has happened maybe during this four years period and what are what is your impression today yes. about the uh, PLA activity? This EPNOSL project, project is, is a very, very fascinating, uh, fascinating journey, I think. And it, I think it's not the end right now. I, I really hope it will continue some collaboration with the colleagues, because it's a process, not, not, uh, 
not, uh, not just a, a way to land. One main tip for, for me or for, for us or Estonian colleagues is that it's, uh, school leadership is not witchcraft. It's, it's a real thing and uh, we, we, if, we, if we are open-minded, every, uh, everything is, is possible. For schools, for, for system level, for, for parents, it's, it's a whole system and uh, it's, a, it's a real thing. Okay, and any practical ideas you would like to start implementing after this PLL, PLA or later? Bulgaria? Well, uh, maybe just two things. Uh, to, uh, to develop maybe uh, something like strategy or um, at least plan on uh, how to to link uh, school leadership with uh, capacity building and how to link uh, school leadership with uh, learning and teaching for uh, uh, there is a close link but uh, we have to to uh, to have uh, to, to do some practical steps doing that Thank you. Chair colleague. Yes. <clears throat> um, we, are, uh, we started to qualify our school leaders for um, building inclusion in schools. And uh, equity is one, uh, one uh, decisive uh, uh, part of it. And uh, we'll take uh, some, some ideas from the Nozer meeting and uh, implement uh, them into the qualifying of our school leaders. Okay, thank you. Kaspers? Very simple, practical thing is, uh, is to, to introduce that toolkit for, for, uh, for school leaders and uh, <coughs> also not just about school leaders but uh, to kindergarten leaders also. It's a, it's, a, it's a tool that they can actually use. Okay, thank you for sharing your opinions and I wish a good luck for all of us to implement EPSNOL ideas in our everyday work. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of PLA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.